out there. Hello and welcome to another episode of Boys Only Club podcast here in the Sugar Pine 7 offices, exactly as we found it. If you think we did some uh, stage dressing to make it look like this, we did. Hi, I'm Brett, and this is my home. Hey guys, uh, Alex here. Uh, today we have a special guest, James. You're here for this podcast. I'm depressed. For always, <laughs> thank you for showing up. Thank you for making time. Were you depressed when you got here or after you got here? Um, getting here to this office? Were you depressed like when you showed up or did walking around here for a few minutes make you depressed? It got a little worse since I got here in the yeah. door. I got After seeing like the entirety of their operation, it got yeah. a little bit worse. I used the communal bathroom and I got a little sadder. We have a, uh, another special guest this week. I, I can't see you. Myself. I, I already know the, uh, Another one though. Oh, but we do. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hey. We're here with Anna. She is one of our, our, our co-conspirators on this channel, but also known as an editor. A lot of people have requested that you show up. I don't think it uh, has anything to do with the fact that... <laughs> <laughs> I think they just they want to know more about your life, I guess. They're nosy. Well, like we had, we had Asher. And people were like, we don't want Asher. We wanted Anna. Why'd you give us they, Asher? Like, they, liked the, they liked his backstory. They thought it was cute how he looked up to Funhouse and got to meet Funhouse and all that. So they thought he had a cute backstory. That's that's kind of like, do you have any kind of story like that? Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. You have any, no backstory. Any idols, heroes? Idols or heroes? Looking up to anybody of the sort? You guys. That's right, a lie. That's a we have story. a rule on this like, uh, podcast. I don't know if you're familiar because you probably have not watched this podcast before, but um, it's called No Memeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's the rule right. Is no Memeing. That's right. Okay, you're right. No Memeing. You fucking peek your head out of the goddamn window. Of this the is trailer. not a meme. This is my reality. So. Also, why did they have this in here, by the way? Is there any explanation? I think it's Kib's safe space, but now it's mine. Oh, it's their gag. It's their, it's their, bit. it's their signature bit. Mm. If you're familiar with this channel, no, I believe that where you're here is actually, you know what, you you probably had um, one of the most like normal backgrounds in terms of. Wow, so, my phone. Is Fourteen episodes thing. in, and uh, I'm I guess so it's sorry. I'm gonna go ahead. Now it's tough. No, I'm embarrassed. Can we cut from where in front of Anna, can I just thought it'd be cut? nice if we could just. Can we go from the? Mm. Can we get it together? Yeah. Come on, this is my podcast. Yeah, this is this is your podcast. <laughs> this is your part. You need to tell us about your life because I'm pretty sure. What is it? You you used to work at Outback. Right? That's right. Yeah, okay. Outback. I'm not sure if the, I just doxed you by by telling everyone that, but I was gonna say that's probably the most normal job I think out of. A lot of people that we've hired on, I guess. They gave me some uh, some some twenty dollar gift cards uh, for out for Outback. Why? They, they, yeah. they, Who is they? they Outback, Outback themselves. Outback. They, they they DM'd me, and uh, I, I think I maybe gave one to Trevor for like their chicken fingers. Was it was a while ago. I don't know why they did it. Because you were tweeting fingers. about Outback. I think it's because we did a video on like Dead by Daylight with Outback, like years ago and then mm. maybe they just saw it or something then they were like let me give you some gift cards and so they gave they gave me some gift cards you like yeah. outback though right it's like your favorite restaurant yeah, probably I mean, that's debatable his I mean. favorite it's, it's, i would say probably I mean, it's, it's, from it's, morgan it's, with it's like top maybe three let's go middle rank top three of what wait, wait, no no don't don't top I want, three restaurants what do, what do you think his top three restaurants are top three no i'm gonna just say outback that's probably outback three. Is all three it's all them. consuming yeah. <laughs> wow I don't even talk about Outback that much to to, to have it in She's kind of on top dude. three. Tokyo Joe's gonna have some oh, Red Robin. angry words with you Red after Robin. this. For sure, Luke yeah. And what else? I would say Tokyo Joe's, but we don't. There's no Tokyo Joe's out here anymore, so. Aha! So. What do you think? But did, did you? Uh, know? Uh, <laughs> he actually he actually went to. I went the, to one. <laughs> I went to one that's like <laughs> two hours away. <laughs> for its grand opening. <laughs> There's one. There was one that opened, and that day I went. It was fucking two hours away. <laughs> But there's like there's one that's closer now. They're starting to open up over here. So I, I well, that's, that's number cool. one. That's number Have one. Have you tried Waba Grill, dude? It's like the same thing. No, that's not the Just same. Just try it. Dude. It's not it's, the same. It's almost the same. It's thing. not the same. The culture of Cow Chop is trying to convince other people to try out the coolest chain restaurant you're currently obsessed with. Hey, have you tried uh, Tokyo hey, Joe's? Uh, it's the not local? a chain. Are we going to go into the yeah, you know, this place is called uh, Kidoba. It's pretty dope, dude. It's like yeah. Southwestern. They didn't have Kidoba out here. Yeah. It's Chipotle, dog. Get it together. Chipotle just got queso, and it fucking sucks, dude. Oh, no. It's so bad. I just okay. tasted it, and it's the worst fucking queso I think I've ever had from any place. That's all. Right. There goes our sponsorship. I get their hot salsa. Speaking of sponsorships, you want to read this week's? 
Yes. Please sponsor us. We have no money. Yeah, JK, okay. we have no sponsor. Thanks, RT. All right, uh, moving on. Yeah, tell us about life before Cow Chop. Tell us about... Hey, life she, I never got my third chop. restaurant. What oh, for fuck? fuck's sake. She said, she said Red Robin. You missed that. It wasn't yeah. Red Robin. Oh, shit. Someone say Rebo? Buca was number two. Buca de Beppo. Mm, okay. That's obvious. I don't have yeah, a Yeah, that's anymore, obvious. So. Oh. What do you think Brett's P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's, maybe. Oh. That Brett's is favorite. like, I don't know. I haven't worked with Brett that long. Damn. I mean, I worked with you, but not here. Like I was like a phantom spirit. Uh, vegan large house. Majority. Vegan house. Veganese. Right. Anything oh, vegan like or vegetarian. And vegan South, Southwest vegan. Are the three. You got it. Wow. <laughs> I gotta check those out. Yeah, you should. They're really good. <laughs> Postmates it after this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, tell okay. us, tell us, tell us something that you know everyone because everyone's dying right now to know what's what's Santa's yeah. backstory. Just tell us Outback. Something. I worked at Outback for like four years. So yeah. What, what was your responsibilities there? Um, serving, just waitressing. So yeah. And then you were like, hey, I, I don't like this. I want to go into editing for a bunch of fucking idiots. Right. Okay. No, I did go to college for editing. So okay. before so that. You did have yeah. a background in yes. some type of media. Right. Yeah. For something. Exactly. Besides just working at Outback. Yeah. Wow. What, was, what was the plan? You, you got that degree and you were like, dude, I'm fucking, I'm going to edit for Spielberg himself. Yeah, period. that was the plan. And then I, you know, the so reality, was, so no was, reality hit. So it was reality. traditional, it was oh. traditional editing, like short films, stuff like that. Not yeah. fucking yeah. YouTube videos, obviously. Um, YouTube, like, I, I don't know, not really. Not I really. mean, it was just school <laughs> projects that I was really just doing. That's about it. So. How, how much do you know about YouTube when like, I guess, because you saw the ad. We had an ad posted in, in Colorado. I don't know if it was Craigslist or something. That's right. Yeah, yeah it was Craigslist. It was Craigslist. This is Craigslist. correct. Well, because like, we can't post a formal ad because it's just everyone applies and it's just like, hey, oh, I'm shit, 17 man. We years old. We don't even old. need to post an ad. I get emails every day. Hey, I'm an aspiring editor. Right. Every messages. fucking day. Hey, guys. Get out of my email. email. God damn it. Get stop, out. Stop trying to take my job. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that's fucked true. up. You yeah. are trying to take her fucked. job. That's fucked at least, up. I, I would at least appreciate if someone could send me like a formal resume, not just, hey, I'd like to work for you guys. Here's a video I edited and it's a fucking Roblox montage. <laughs> like if you could just please be like, here's a structure. Don't, don't do it now because we're not hiring. But I'm just saying, right. at least if you're going to send a resume, make it decent, not like, here, here's, I'm going to fucking type a SpongeBob. We don't have money me. to hire any more people, so let's be honest, that's not going to happen. So. Well, Sadly. it's a sad reality. Sad truth. Let's let's not get de depressing here, all right? I we're, already am. We're here okay. for a good time. We're obviously, I mean, we had to rent out this space to even get a set for today's podcast. So thank you, Stephen Pine Seventeen. Uh, <laughs> I, wait, I got a counter idea. Let's get more depressing. So I left Colorado after film school, and I said, "Listen, Colorado has fuck all going on for it for film." I was like, "I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna die <laughs> die in yeah. the city." So. Mm -hmm. How was it like for you after kind of getting the lay of the land post college degree? Um, yeah, there really wasn't a whole lot out there. Um, I, you know, I'd apply places every once in a while. This one popped up, this YouTube and I, um, YouTube channel, you know, ad. So it didn't say the name and say <laughs> couch app, didn't say anything like that. Didn't so that. I was like, okay, um, I like YouTube, um, you know. So I know, there's money, I know there's money in it, I think, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So I'm going to try it out. We, um, and that's about sorry, it. Sorry, I didn't mean, yeah. didn't mean no, to cut you off. I said we uh, had a few people that <laughs> applied at the time. Obviously, I, Asher, we had uh, like way beforehand. We already explained that last podcast. Yeah, he already had a shoe in for the most part. He doesn't know that. But, right. Like He already kind of had a shoe in. Um, but We also wanted to, like as we said, we wanted to exploit him for his voice. Right, so. which we've done a few times yeah. now, so that's great. Yeah. Um, but we had a few people that already knew kind of like what YouTube was about and like what the gaming sector was know. about. I don't even remember any of the other people. You don't remember the other people? <laughs> I don't remember. There were definitely people, people who knew what we were like, oh, yes, yeah, Rooster yeah. Teeth affiliated? It's been my fucking dreams <laughs> since I came out of my mother's womb. 
this is, no, they weren't that intense, but uh, definitely a varying scale. I remember there was intense. one guy that was like really weird, and I think we had like Joe escort him out or something. <laughs> like that. Like, we didn't even want to say anything. We had Joe escort him out, and that was like a fucking interview. Where was it? At the house? Was it? Yeah, like, we did. Come we to did, the couch. Or we did like, formal the interviews on the couch. <laughs> like, it was just sit yeah. down right here because we, we didn't have a uh, meeting room. I mean, no, we tried yeah. to set one up, but. Uh, what was it like way. walking into that house for your interview that day? <laughs> um, it was very interesting. I was worried that it was a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she got to sit on the DX racer though while we sat on the couch. I was like, guys, right. sit on the couch with me and make them sit in the DX racer chair. Yeah, <laughs> power chair. I got the hot seat. At to least. be fair, it's like it's not like it's improved or anything. It's still like our operation is still. I mean, look at this. Like, well, we, we do podcasts in here now. Like, our right. warehouse looks like a giant fucking I mean, lawsuit waiting to happen. Yeah. But what I liked about your interview, well, I guess just like hiring you on as in, in general, is just like you had no idea of what this was, but you, like you watched other stuff on YouTube. Like you said, you watched yeah. like beauty channels, so you kept up mm -hmm. with like some of that stuff. And I sort of liked that because it would be different, and so you'd have like a different approach to like how everyone already does stuff. Because we yeah. try to do stuff differently here, so I thought it was like a cool perspective. So yeah, you just. Okay. You have like no, I you had like no idea what the hell this was about. No, was no idea. She um, tweeted out though that first instance was the the fucking like anaconda thing or whatever that you had gotten. That was like the first mm. time you had her thrusted into something. Like, yeah, it's true. It was just well, put like, this giant snake around your neck. Well, like mm -hmm. how many people get an opportunity to just like have a giant? No, first yeah. of all, I mean like the way to even we even got that reptile guy into our house to do a show was just miraculous on its own. But yeah, I mean, you get to hold the snake for one of your first shoots. How was that? That was great. That was so much fun. I was, felt like I was. You don't like, have to lie. I mean. <laughs> no, I mean, you know what? It was really heavy. It was a very heavy snake. I only held it for like 30 seconds. So we got a quick picture, and that's about it. And then after that, you were like, yeah, this is this is a great job. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the guy, you didn't see this, but the guy put a cockroach in my hair, too. And that was really terrible. That was. That was awful. The cockroach in your hair? Yeah, he we like just had just one at the office the other day. Yeah, that probably yeah. triggered. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if you, you would have put it in her hair, that would have been a triggering. Yeah. Major anxiety that was a big after that. Fucking cockroach. Yeah. That was huge cockroach. So. Because well, he, he had like the Madagascar cockroach or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you you kind of like, I guess you you stay away from a lot of the stuff that we do, but it's almost like you you know better at this point. Do you know yep. what I mean? Like yeah. a lot of like the guys like Joe and, and Trevor, I mean, they're kind of like involved regardless of what the experiment is. But you're always like in the background and, and you always try to hide from the shot. Is it because like you just don't want to be on, on camera for the, the video or because you just don't want to be a I don't ever see her actively avoiding it. I, I just see, see her I see sitting her. in the background. You've no, seen her I've avoid seen, it? I've Have seen you avoided her, like, anything actively? Um, I don't know. Like, I think a lot of the food stuff, Insta like, anytime it, like, you guys are doing kick food. In and you just dodge it or something. I've never seen her, like, actively move out of the way. I'll just see her, like, in the background of stuff, like, either looking, being like, what the fuck, or but, just but she's completely never, like, absorbed she's in her like, own oh, stuff. Oh, what's this, guys? No, like, she, she doesn't oh, get right, out yeah, and no. get right. involved. Yeah, no. That's, that's called self-preservation. <laughs> if you look up and you just okay. realize if you don't say anything, yeah. it'll pass by over your head, you can just go back to your life, like that's smart. Right, yeah, I mean I'm working too, so yeah. I can't like jump in on anything right. all the time, like, yeah. But I think I would say that I, whenever I first like started working, I was like, I don't wanna get near you guys when you have food, because you're always throwing it. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, I just tried, that was the beginning, I still haven't really gotten messy, so that's good. I'm um, gonna call you out on this though, because we had, again, is this, is this fucking water video ever gonna go up, or am I gonna keep like, it should be up on now. We'll bleep it. We'll bleep it again. <laughs> Please don't. But I asked, I asked you to be part of something the other day, and I told you specifically to bring in something. And oh, then you straight yeah. up just cucked me, and you and you just didn't do it at all. And then you said, "Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot." But I knew I knew <laughs> that you did it. <laughs> I actually brought my swimsuit in that day. <laughs> I just told him I didn't have it. Nice. Um, I do you saw see what I mean? <laughs> so it's like it's, well, like, it's like hard, a, it's oh, hard. when it comes to when it comes time. time to that moment, and you see the entire operation in front of you. It's, it's it's kind of hard. You get a little bit. You get it, it hits you. It's like this is about to happen. You're like, what do I get? I out don't. Of this? I don't right. want to be a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> like, How is this going to play out for me? And then you're like, uh, I don't know that the return on investment is really there. So <laughs> that's yeah. yep. That, that sounds about right. Just, yeah. That was probably the only time, though. I would say that I actively avoided 
something. The only time that you've been called out is the only time you. She was there during like the fireworks yeah, really in the house though. and stuff. That was one of yeah. the moments where I remember her saying, "What the fuck?" Just randomly to like shit just going on while we're up there, just destroying this house. So I mean, yeah. How was the, the house? How was the house for you? I miss the house. The house you is fun. House? Yeah. So yeah. does everyone. Yep. <laughs> so does everyone. I, one day we'll get another one and destroy it. That I don't know why. I, I kind of like the house, but I mean, it's just like a nostalgia at this point, yeah, right? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. like that, like, for sure. I don't sucked. really want to work in a <laughs> yeah. house now, but it was like, I think it was cool while it lasted. I like the idea of it, just like, the idea of a house that maybe we had more control over and weren't so... We thought so, we did. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> one, that, one that we weren't so, like, you know... Uh, like open to just everything, like whether it was neighbors or you know, if legal <laughs> policies and everything like that. If we got rid of all that stuff, it'd be great. Like, but I mean, we had so many instances of even Brett coming out and he was like, make this, make sure this is a safe haven. But yet he himself would induce the fucking shit fest that was going on, and sometimes he would start it up himself. Yeah. Never told us to stop playing with poop, literal poop. Shit. I mean, some things just oh, don't need to be for, said, I guess. For shit day? I was there. I was there for shit day, yeah. That was you, fucked up. Shit yeah. day. Yeah. You know, what else do you want to... Shit Mageddon. I don't know. Like, shit Mageddon. No, I mean, it's all the same. That was Joe's poop. That was really <laughs> gross. <laughs> that was gross? <laughs> that was, was very that, gross. Yeah. Was Only the, one of us had to sleep in that house. Was that the grossest? <laughs> there was shit everywhere. There was shit upstairs in the toilet. There was shit downstairs. There was yeah. shit all and over the place. And you were still like, <laughs> yeah, this is better than Outback. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah. was shit everywhere yeah, in back too. That. It just stands legal. You know, can't talk about it. <laughs> right? Yeah. There you go. Are you going to sleep? Yeah. Stretching my legs. It's a little cramped in here. Much like the house. You know, I wish I had a warehouse I could sit in right now. You know, it's natural evolution. So it's you a it's an analogy for you couch. Go back to your cool office, man. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> so cool. Uh, what was your what are what's your favorite video and what was the least favorite video you worked on? Um, that I worked on, mm -hmm. like edited or, um, like or, or filmed or participated in in any way. <sighs> um, God, that's that's something I did not think about before coming over here. Um, or was there a shoot that me? stands? Do what? you want to help you? No. Jog jog how about here. how about what's the most you've ever been worried for anything? Oh my. Okay. Of all of our yeah. shoots, probably the fire. <laughs> the fire? I would not say the fire. I think. Uh, the fire was all right, dude. That was all CGI anyway. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yes. That wasn't real. No. That's not real fire. No. But um, I would say, like, James, when he's driving, <laughs> it's scary. That's it's not a, even a shoot. That's, that's, that's not even a video. That's just, like, a general, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like a personal <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah. fair, though, one of, one of our first days on the job was the Pokemon Go yes. thing. Yes. Um, and yeah, that was Pokemon when I Go. almost got us killed. So, To be fair, we were you know. kind of like going out to like, if we got in a car crash, that would be in the video type of thing. Oh, my you know? yeah. God. See, that was pretty dangerous. <laughs> I did that not was, expect that answer. That we went out to like a boonies <laughs> fucking like uh, graveyard. And oh. Like I didn't I didn't see a stop the, sign. Dude, the boonies graveyard was a, like, a, like a veteran fucking <laughs> memorial like. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Great. Yeah, it was, it was off Colfax. Though. Though, so it's kind of like, yeah, getting there was a little bit sketchy, but the place was nice. Except we were like the fucking idiots dressed as ghosts in like a <laughs> cemetery. That's um, right. Anyway, there's a lot of wiggle room to be pretty reckless on the road in, in Colorado. I would say just a little bit. So like, I mean, Dude, I, was I did some way over stuff. here, man. I, Every day is reckless out, out here. here. I can't. I, I'm fucking scared for my life out here. I, I almost hit a guy last week just pulling out of. Our, like our office area because a fucking bus was like in the middle of the way. It's like I, I got, I've had more close calls out here than, than anything else. Yeah, I, I don't dreams. trust myself for shit. But back in Colorado, like I had, I had like a few dicey moments where I had a dicey moment with Joe and Trevor in the car before where I had to pretty much pull like a Fast and the Furious maneuver because <laughs> there was, you know, like an on ramp had like two lanes and there was this big truck that was just fucking taking up the entire thing and I I don't know why I did it but I decided to speed up and try to get in front of it. <laughs> so like mm -hmm. try to beat it onto the on ramp instead of just waiting it out and sitting behind it. So like I'm like almost off to the side, almost in the grass, like getting around him to beat him onto the on ramp. I did it successfully. But I remember Trevor that day was just like, you know, whoa, what the fuck man? And I was just like 
I tried to play it cool, and I was just like, yeah, I knew what I was doing, but I, I, I didn't, dude. We could have died there. We could have died that, that day. Yeah. No, you're mostly like a safe driver, I think, but it's just like, uh, there was one time, Why like, is Trevor laughing? I wasn't sure if you were like memeing, because you turned around, and you like looked back, and like you had a bloody nose, so I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah, Do you remember bad. that? Yeah, man. You didn't know if that I was, was a like, meme or not? I, I was like really <laughs> worried. You know, I was like, to be, he just, yeah, there was a bit was where he, that was Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah. Was like a Pokemon, Pokemon Go, Go where so. he's just like, he, he was he's supposed to get a bloody nose, he's supposed to pretend that nothing like was going on. He's like, wait, was that a meme? There? That was a meme. Okay, he's like, okay I didn't know, I didn't know. That didn't even make it I can see it was terrifying, yeah. Damn, so you were in the backseat like, is James okay? He's the front like bleeding, and none of us are reacting to it. That's like kind of how like a lot of the videos are. I don't know if you guys are such a good or like every day. That she was fooled by. Yeah. To this day, she thought it was real. <laughs> I'm glad that we uh, we talked about it. It was that. a good meme because you were just like, what? Yeah, I squirted, I squirted a blood <laughs> capsule did. up my nose and just, and I just snorted it and let it drip like trip down. Like so, like as okay. soon as I looked to the camera, there was nothing there, but it started to trickle down. <laughs> so it looked like it was like legit, but it wasn't. I just I snorted it way up there, and then it just started to come down. <laughs> It was a good meme. It was good a meme yeah, at the must time. Have been a good meme. Is yeah. there is there any other questions like that you have that you want to like? Any other clarify? times I put your life in danger oh that I don't go up? I mean, like whenever my my interview, I remember Alex was like, your interview, um, you your life was in danger. No, I wasn't. I wasn't like I want to clear this up because okay. I wasn't sure if you were memeing. You were like, I, w I shouldn't have been memeing at the interview. No, you. I don't know if you were because you were like, um, all right, we're gonna have you work forty hours a week, nine hours a day. Is that okay? And it, like, that's not right. That's not <laughs> the right math. I'm Last week he said there was only one star in the solar. Uh, there were like countless stars in the solar system. So sometimes his brain just doesn't I, work. It's not his fault. Forty hours like, a week, know. nine hours a day. Yeah, I wasn't. See, that's why I thought it was a scam <laughs> too. <laughs> because <laughs> like, and then we were like, Joe, okay. go ahead and escort her out of here. Yeah. <laughs> After you hit her with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was probably just me being retarded. I don't know. You said it so yeah. many times, so I was like... <laughs> Dude, it was probably written down. I just kept saying it or something. Every applicant had the same, the 40, same deal. 40 <laughs> hours a week. I know. Yeah, that's not right, is it? I don't fuck, I don't fuck up. No, it would be eight hours. A, it would be eight hours a day, right? Well, I'm glad we cleared that up. I'm yeah. glad you held on to that how, this entire how long, time. How long do you work? How long? Hours? It's been over a, like a year. Do and we, you're like, do we owe you like 700 I, hours? Of when do I bring this up? <laughs> I didn't like. I didn't know you guys very well back then, so I didn't know like. You didn't know we were when retarded. When are you joking and when are you not? So. <laughs> That's incredible. That is such a good story. Wow. That alone was worth <laughs> this entire episode. Um, okay, <laughs> yeah. Great. It's like, you've kept that on for a long, long yeah. time. Wow. Yep. It's like you didn't even ask Brett about it, like when he visited or anything, like just for clarification. I, just, She's like, hey, I thought uh, maybe he didn't know. Touch you or quick. He was just <laughs> quick question, quick question. <laughs> 40 hours a week, nine hours a day. What's what's the deal? They just you're like, nah. I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna, gonna just opt in on this and never mention it again. Yeah, that's that's about it. That's how it went. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. So she's working these days, thinking like it could change at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> like, they don't know the difference. So. Wow. Yeah, it could. Yeah. What? Are you so, still making up for those hours, or what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I do every day, because that's what you said. Nice. I go Good. nine hours Good every day. Good to an extra hour. That's, I get paid That's 40. called a pro bono Yeah. in, in the industry. <laughs> okay. Very eye-opening this episode has been for me. I have a lot of things that I need to evaluate about myself and the way I drive. <laughs> Nothing has phased her as much as your driving <laughs> from the beginning of her uh, employment at Couch that's not even, Wow. That's not, even a, that's not even a bit, though. That was like, you're right. you kind of copped out. So what was your favorite mm -hmm. video then? Favorite video? Or favorite like, time that James did something that didn't emotionally <laughs> scar you? <laughs> we also talked about the ski that's trip cool. last week, too, if you have any stories to share from that particular. The ski trip, I, I, just, I just wish. We have no stories. <laughs> There's I no wish stars. we would have brought like a pint of blood or something. Yeah. We just didn't know when it was going to turn into a horror. You're like, like the only person that actually skied on that trip though, right? 
Uh, Asher and I both made it down that, the mountain. There's she seven successfully of, seven. was the only one that got down. She was probably like, the most responsible one, as we said. Like she was the one to yell to the bus driver to be like, "No, our friend is out there. We need to get him back in." Like so, she was the yeah, most that, responsible person. That moment really stuck out with me. That you kind of saved my life. Yeah. I think I we would have. You would have been gone. We would have been gone. You would have been gone, and we would have never found you. The video would have never. Even happened. You know what? Now I think about it because I do think about it sometimes, if not very often. When I got off the <laughs> bus, you know, my initial idea was like, I'll just lift out of here. But then, <laughs> oh my God. but then I, I looked around and it's just you know snow banks, like just like piles of snow and yeah, like only was... SUVs and plows coming through and the bus line. You would have to wait for the bus to come back I around. I would have to like walk yeah. around or do something, knock on some doors. All the gear. You had all the gear. Like I, didn't had, no, you? I had no choice. Yeah. I mean, I had so. no choice. The, bur the burden was on me. I didn't even notice that you had all that stuff on you, though. That's so why I, think I got that's off. What that's, I mean, that's, I explained last week why I got off. It was just because I was just too overwhelmed. Yeah. He was uncomfortable sitting mm -hmm. next to people on there. <laughs> yeah, because I felt like they were watching me. Like, why does this idiot have two skis, ski boots, a snowboard, and one snowshoe while he's wearing snowshoes? But you had eaten an edible, didn't you? Yes. I told yes, you guys not to. I told him not to. <laughs> but I'm kind of glad that you did because I think people would have died if they got to the top. Like, as, like if, Aaron, as if we didn't die anyway. Like <laughs> between Joe going back, Asher dying, me dying, having to go back with the, the snowmobile. Yeah. You had fun though. So yeah, if I anything, had fun. like I one person having a decent time, I guess made up for it. But that wasn't the favorite. What's the favorite? Fa like my favorite video. That's just that's tough. Um, just because you have so many. Yeah, I have yeah. so many. I mean, shoot, I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, can we come back to this? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I like the Pokemon Go ones whenever we went to downtown Denver. That's the one I said that I liked the most. Um, I don't even when remember we did that. the, the favorite did downtown? downtown Denver Pokemon? That was, oh, that was. Oh, that, with the. You like, like, yelled the, at some kids. Yeah, like, and stuff, you kept yeah. yelling at kids. Yeah. I yelled at yeah. every one, though, so it's kind of it's kind of hard to pinpoint. I was like, there for that one, the downtown one. Yeah, he was like, we split off. Super Saiyan Brock. Oh, yeah, where the. The little girls were asking me about some like artist or whatever, like the musician. The weekend. Yeah, oh, they're the like, yeah. I was like, who's the who's the fucking weekend? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know at the time. Because you said we were part of MTV. <laughs> yeah, she said, like, do you right. know the weekend? Yeah. Can you introduce me? That was a fib. <laughs> yeah. You lied to some little girl, yeah. dude. What's that's your? Right. That's not the worst thing that's <laughs> happened. <on this channel. laughs> what was your single greatest moment of fear? This is for you or you since we've been doing this channel. Something that like just comes to mind instantly. I thought of mine when I, I was waiting for Anna's answer. I was like, what's your mind? And I was like, it was definitely when that little balloon caught on fire in the tree. Christmas, yeah. Where I was oh, like, yeah. this can escalate so quickly. And I felt like I was just like watching it from like beyond my body. Yeah. <laughs> like I was watching a movie about The us. whole tree could have just fucking came down in that moment. I was like, wow, we are really doing this. <laughs> we let something loose into the night air that could light a fire. No one thought about it, and then it immediately went onto our property <laughs> and yeah. started burning our things. It was dry, too, so it could have definitely, yeah. it was very dry. I could, yeah. Like, I just remember thinking that it could definitely burn down. <laughs> I don't know so. what would have been like a major dangerous thing, because they all just, they all just fucking mend together, you know? It's like we just do it so often, and it's just like, it's an everyday occurrence that we put ourselves in danger. So yeah. I can't really yeah. think of like one that yeah. sticks out as like a really some of the biggest ones. One. Yeah, don't even stand out, honestly. The the latest fire one I would say is pretty scary just because I could see the fire growing. Yeah, that's CGI. Doing all that, those post effects right. like as that's he right. made that video know, scarier. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on record. It was done in post. Right. So it wasn't that scary, but it was scary. Could, in it could the video. have been scary it if it caught on fire and just went out of control. That could have been scary. Are you memeing? Yes. Um, fire, though, <laughs> is a theme on this channel. I don't think the fire stuff really. I mean, the iPhone, that one was kind of weird because I didn't know what the hell was going on. Like, I didn't. I didn't I've I guess never. I could have been. I honestly thought that that was like such a low percentile of something like that happening where it's like, oh, a battery catches fire, an iPhone, and, you know, <laughs> the, <laughs> blows the, up. the plane goes down or some shit. I'm like, that can, that's like one in a billion chance of that happening. That worked out pretty well. And then you fucking happened, did it, yeah. and I just. I, I don't know, that that was shocking to me because I was like, I've never seen that. <laughs> so to like see it actually like witness it happening was like That was one of the one things that was kinda like I talked about last week of the spur of the moment purchases of like that I wanted to do with the McDonald's sauce, something like that, where it was like, oh this iPhone just came out, 
Let me just fucking buy one real quick on Amazon. Just a fucking basic phone for the sole purpose of conducting this experiment. And then it actually blew up. So nice. it worked pretty well. That was crazy. I love when a plan comes together. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. down there for that, so though. So yeah, you weren't down really there for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my my point is that you just you hide a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that you could say I do hide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it because you hear screaming and then you just close the door? Yeah, that's definitely how it goes. You hear close Trevor that door. just like ah! <laughs> I'm down there later. torturing him. Oh, you smell smoke, <laughs> or yeah, you just hear screaming. We did a lot of that early on. Trevor was the Trevor was just like the test dummy for everything back then. He had a lot of just shit thrown at him, punched him in the balls a lot, <laughs> punched him in the butt. <laughs> it's it's because he has like such good reactions, dude. <laughs> just, I, uh, I couldn't think of like what do to Joe. He'll just be like, nah, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, that's his, that would be his reaction. I think if he nut shot at Joe, he probably that might actually set him off. If he nut shot at him, I feel like that would because we had a phase where people at school and high school would go through hit each other, nut shot everybody, and be like, oh shit, you know, cover up or whatever. <laughs> there was one time where he got hit and he just like didn't, like he 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 played it off like it didn't fucking hurt, but you could tell he was just pissed. Like he just didn't do anything about it. But yeah, I, I don't know what he would do if you nut shot at him. <laughs> It'd be pretty bad. It sounds like something you'd want to like test out. Yeah, figure. <laughs> <laughs> Put up a hidden too. camera and just be like, Joe, come here. And just fucking hit For a real BTS. Quick. For just a segment. I'm not gonna get fucking in a scuffle for some, beast, for some BTS. Yeah, what if he defends himself? What if he fights back? It would have, I mean, to, it'd have that, to be staged as like that would an be accidental. A, that we could put a mid roll if there's an, an actual fight. Yeah, it'd have to be staged like as an accidental. Like we'd have to get something where like a. Like a two by four hits like him a, in the ball. Like, like a slingshot or something, and it's just like. Oops, Psh, right down, you know? Could we have like a 10 minute fight segment where it's just uncut, unedited, and they're just fighting? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We would upload that un unedited like, for well, sure. Well, you could put yeah. a mid roll, is what I'm saying. That's the only oh, just so it's, yeah, 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 for sure. For get, sure. Like, extra monetization out of it. That's yeah. if the entirety of the video even gets monetized in the first place. <laughs> well, <laughs> you could definitely like cover it up in some way, you know? I don't know. We'll figure What do you think? Definitely. I want to see what, I want to see Joe's reaction to that for sure. I think he would. Be very upset. I don't think he's gonna watch this either, so we should keep it on the down low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. not tell him. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. Look out, Joe. <laughs> See you soon. Do you do you ever come into the office and just like have I guess have we ever uh, bested your expectations? Because now at this point you like know what's going on. You're like, okay, oh they're doing something crazy. Cool. Oh, that's so cool. These guys are so these guys are the coolest people I've ever met. Yeah. And you come in the office and you say that. But have you ever like come in and just like done something that just like really fucked with you at the point where you're like you were surprised that that happened because like you guys fucked with me like or I guess just I, in general like we've done something um where I you I you guys well, bested my yes even your expectations, expectations. okay um jeez like because you witnessed a lot of the shit and I think was it subject that asked us even Joel asked us last week like do we ever run out of ideas like have you ever felt capped? Do we try to best ourselves? So I'm wondering, like, have you ever seen something that we did that, where you were like, what the fuck? Like, even you didn't expect that. This is such a suck our own dick kind of question. <laughs> um, I know, I want to know more about Although we've her. had hundreds what of great hell? ideas. We've had ideas so good that even your expectations <laughs> for how well, good we are blew your mind. <laughs> I never said our ideas were good. <laughs> I never said that. Like I I never James, do you want to know more about Anna asking? I mean, if, unless she has an answer for this, I'm sensing that. She was trying to. I was trying to get I'm back to the trying? favorite video question that she like keeps dodging, dude. <laughs> she has was, no favorite videos. That was brought videos. up by you. <laughs> I'm, uh, no favorites. No, no favorites. Go back to your no. fucking bunkhouse and close Listen, the Listen, James and I agree on this side, okay? James and we're you, not learning enough about Anna. You're loping enough. James into your fucking mobile home. Yeah. <laughs> James, what's your question? What do you do in your free time? What do I do in my free time? That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I was going to ask that next. I was going to ask that next. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, yeah. Um, I, I like to go to the beach and hike and 
um, do activities, fun activities, yeah. Outdoors, yeah. I like right. to do yeah. activities. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for. I'll, I'll be honest. With Outdoor you. activities. So you kind of maintain that. You maintain the Colorado outdoorsy stuff. Yeah, the beach just out here. Yeah. Instead. Yeah, I would say so. I like what to are go to concerts. Fucking doing. Participating in the world. Okay. Do you know that Anna has a, a ocean fetish. Do I? Fetish. <laughs> oh. What does that mean? She has a swim fetish. Like I mean, I like the ocean it? a lot. She like a swim she, fetish. She joined us last. What? She joined us last weekend, <laughs> and like when everyone stopped oh. swimming, yeah. she just kept drifting off into the ocean. I did. I for, really we we had a lot her. of fun. I because like <laughs> she wasn't in front of like our our little camp spot. She like went off like down the beach. Like she swam like a mile or something out into the sea. What? Yeah, that's insane. right. Wow. And she didn't come that's back. Mean. We thought we'd have to leave without her. You're memeing. I'm not memeing, dude. You, <laughs> I didn't, you left I can't for such swim a long that time. Good. I can't swim a mile in the ocean. Why were you in the ocean for like two hours? Like you came on like a sponge. <laughs> like, I actually I heard that too. Sponge. My girlfriend said she was with you guys, and she was oh, like, your "Oh, I'm tired." That? And Anna was like, "Yeah, I'm tired too. I'm going back in." And then she went in. You were still out there swimming. And then in the I waves. decided to go because like my hair got all messed up in like the waves, so I went back into it to fix it. And then I just started having so much more fun. Like I just kept going in the waves. What was what was <laughs> the fun? What was the fun? What was you just swimming? These or? waves at this beach are just amazing. They're just a lot of fun. Where were you guys? Just, Huntington Beach? Yeah, that's right. We were doing like flips in the waves and stuff. Kale was there. We were just like, we were all having fun. You didn't come back out into the ocean though. Ooh. The second time. <laughs> he doesn't like the waves as much, I guess. Ooh. What? You didn't, like doing, out. you didn't like doing flips over the waves? Fuck. <laughs> what are you? I didn't know. This is news to me. I didn't realize that I. Yeah, why didn't you come back out into Damn. the ocean? I was, I was, I mean, okay, you went out the second time. Well, because I was, I was chilling with, with. No, I wanted to go out, and then I asked you if you wanted to go, and you're like, no, I'm gonna chill. Oh, that's here. true. You yeah. wanted to come out, with Trevor? Yeah, but I was only we gonna go out the Alex second time. Well, Trevor, Trevor said that I'll go out if Alex goes out, and then like, I don't know, I just was like, I guess I wasn't feeling it. I was just chilling out. All right. Damn. I had it was it was a stressful day. I had to get like this tent, and then I was like tired. It was a okay. stressful day. I had to eat this beef jerky I bought. And it was just when you were leaving, he had like so much shit that he was carrying. It was like the ski video all over again. I felt so bad. Honestly, none of none of it was bad except the tent was just like a little a little too heavy for how long I had to walk because I had like a park like three quarters of a mile out. So walking that far was annoying, but. You're like walking away, and I was like, "Oh no, this is like the ski video again." I didn't know that you held. I, I didn't bad. know you held in reserve the fact that I didn't go a second time, though. Yeah. Concerned you were you out didn't. there for like literally an hour. I thought you were drowning. You were gonna call a lifeguard. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. I just okay. had a lot of fun. I'm just a mermaid, I guess. I don't know. Like, nice. You're a mermaid. Okay. Well, I guess that answers a lot of questions. What's your favorite thing about LA? versus Colorado? Um, I love, there's so much stuff to do here. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to do. <clears throat> More All activities. All sorts of crap to do. But yeah, lots of activities. Um, you so were hyping fun. that uh, that crepe house for a bit. Crepe house? The crepes. Yeah, yeah oh. I love crepes. Oh. Yeah. Off of like Hollywood or something, it was like. Crepe, cre create crepes. The fact that you still remember that. Lived here 10 years, never had a crepe. Yeah, you never it's had ice a crepe cream crepe. been on it. <laughs> I used to make crepes in home ec back in middle school. I mean, I've had crepes, but I've never been to a crepe place here. She can yeah. recommend you the best crepe, yeah. crepe place in Hollywood. Create eight crepes. Create eight crepes. crepes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you make you make them there, right? That's the point. They um, fill or it with ice cream. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Nutella, all sorts of stuff. It's really good. It's pretty insane. I heard that Nutella is mostly like you could eat cake frosting, and it's actually better for you than Nutella. Dang oh. it, Brett! I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry to ruin this for everyone. Where it's you, a treat. It's got it's more sugar treat. than cake frosting. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Where do you, you uh, align yourself politically? Oh my God. Mm. I actually was going to ask you what your least favorite thing about Los Angeles is because we always should talk at every single podcast. Least so favorite. I, I figured, you know, now it's your turn. There's a lot of. <laughs> there's a. Um, and then Brett gets mad, and tries to defend it because the tacos are really good here or something. And <laughs> I think yeah. it's Stephen Septic. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, we should we should have brought Steven in here to talk about tacos. He's right out there. I don't yeah. want to talk to him. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I thought it was a good idea. Oh. <laughs> no, my least favorite uh, things probably uh, like 
the same shit everybody else don't, says. Don't, oh, but just say something original, dude. <laughs> I know, it's just, but there's not a whole lot to hate, just the traffic, I guess. Traffic, fucking it's not that terrible. It sucks. But Denver was pretty bad, traffic was pretty bad there, too. Yeah, yeah. where we were, it wasn't too bad. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I you guys lived in, like... I killed myself multiple times, just going so fast, so... <laughs> <laughs> I would rather drive it out here, though, than fucking drive to the barn again. Really? I quite enjoyed the, the morning. For, you drive. enjoyed the forty minute commute to yeah, the fucking barn. Yeah, it wasn't barn. too bad. I mean, I yeah, it wasn't too. bad. You didn't do a whole lot of stuff at the it. at the barn. You no. never really like. She came once and hated it. That was that's the most. Th that's the thing that she hated the most was coming to the fucking barn. The one time she did, she never came back. Why'd you get the barn? Right? Is an outdoorsy person that loves going out. <laughs> yeah, you guys had the door open all like whenever she came I was in, there. Like, what the fuck is this operation now? It was, <laughs> it was cool because like this. on the drive there you'd see like horses and I saw deer multiple times and. They did like hit. What yeah, was bad like about having the door open? It was cold. No, it was nice. I liked oh. the garage door open. It was. You guys just didn't ever invite me back. That's what it was. Oh, You're like, work okay. from home, we just never stay here, and wow. you to know, be fair, or stay there. I mean, that's not us. You exposed him already about the wave. You exposed my driving. Yeah, I didn't know the wave. But was, we weren't yeah. doing the schedule. He was. Oh, so when you're looking so at Rapper somebody didn't that was invite you scheduling back. people and oh. scheduling people to come in, wow. he was doing the schedule at the time. Shit. Trevor. For a brief, for a brief moment in time, Trevor did do a lot of the production scheduling for the recordings because I overheard him. He was in his notepad and he was like, Anna don't want to fucking come here. <laughs> Which <laughs> so he's like, let's get Anna out of here, put Trevor. Asher in here. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna say that helped us a lot, Trevor. Thank you Thanks. during that during that critical time period. But no problem, I th I thought you just didn't like the barn. Now I'm hearing that you that's what I thought too. I only went like, once. When you first went there and you looked miserable, <laughs> and then you saw the bathroom situation, you're like, oh my god, what is this? What's the bathroom, the bathroom situation? Well, the bathroom situation was that the bathroom door <laughs> was almost broken immediately to the point where it didn't stay shut. So you'd have to you'd have to put something in front of it <laughs> to keep it shut. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, bad, dude. Yeah. You know. It's just one. It just was one. Yeah, it was just one. Oof. Yeah, it was just one bathroom. Okay. It was it was yeah. aside from the door thing. It wasn't a bad bathroom or anything. The water smelled like eggs. That was I like that was it. a you thing, which like I never really. Uh, you can smell, smell it. it. Yeah, you smell. You, you smell, smell, smell egg smell water. Smell sulfur. Man. Yeah, yeah. Sulfur. I guess how they would. Is it because they, they had the chickens water. and shit? I don't know. I no, figured. Sulfur. sulfur. You go to ice oh. and all the water smells here? like sulfur. <laughs> Where's your lab, dude? Dude, it's pinned right here. Oh. Lindsay's listening. I sound good. Fuck off. You've been muted the whole time. Yeah, I never saw the barn. That was a very strange time where it was like, quick, we need to find an LA place. Okay, you do scheduling, we'll keep recording. You were supposed to come out for a visit at one point, but then it got bumped for whatever reason yeah, or whatever. Was like, but like, whatever. There was yeah. one visit that I think you were scheduled to come out to the barn, just one time, I think. That was stressful. That had a lot of st we had a lot of stuff going on in that era. Thanks, cunt. Yeah. yeah. It was a nice area, though. I mean, it was, we did some stuff outside. And it was it was okay, I guess. We had a little obstacle course going in there for the skate skate stuff and everything. Barn era was your favorite era of cow chop. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Hashtag CCT. The problem yeah. with the right. barn is that we stayed there at our usual times. We stayed there till night. And being out there in the boonies, it was so fucking cold. And the heat, the heater was so loud that we couldn't keep the heater on while we yeah. were recording, yeah. so we'd have to turn it off. It, it literally would dip freeze. to 40 degrees. So when we looked like we were s s fucking wearing the same goddamn clothes every fucking day, it's because we had to wear the cow chop hoodie every single time we were recording because it was so fucking cold. Like we had to just bundle up while we were even doing like Nintendo Switch stuff and we're just sitting there like fucking playing. Wow. Yeah, I don't miss that. I don't miss that at all. I'm, I'm going to always link those two together now. Like, our barn era was when the Nintendo Switch came out, and we just came in with these three Nintendo Switches, and that, that was what we, that was like a, a big Snipper Clips, baby. Yeah. If Snipper Clips was your favorite series <laughs> on Couch Hub, let us know in the comments. There was a, there was a, a day in the warehouse where it got a little too cool. Well, I was, I'm wearing this right on a t-shirt, and I got really fucking triggered because it flashed me back to the barn. Yeah. <sighs> Uh -huh. It really messed with me. I was about to bust the heater out again. Pointed at my fucking. We had like four heaters. We had four like four heaters. The power would go out multiple the power times. Would oh go yeah, out. I remember you guys telling me that. Like the yeah. power went out here. I'm like, what is going on? A full full scale barn, and somehow we generated enough to shut the entire thing off because of, <laughs> it was mostly the heaters. But four heaters, what two? Well, 
one computer, was it? Just that we had set up? It was, it was just one, right? The recording one, I think. We just had one computer. Wow. But all the other stuff, like, just, it, it one thing would get plugged in and that would be do it. You, do you miss Jarrell? Jarrell, <laughs> yeah! Jarrell was awesome! <laughs> Jarrell was, uh, the I key, guess... The, keep, the keeper of uh, Stan at this keeper point. Keeper of Stan oh at this point. <laughs> It was a previous, I guess we'll, we'll call him intern. I don't know how he... This kid. Hi. Who the fuck are you people? Oh, no. <laughs> why, are, why are we here, by the way? Like, right. we could have went anywhere. The conceit of CCTV is that each week we come to you live from a new location. And I'll be frank with you, we just kind of ran out of ideas. <laughs> That's why it's, it's, it's uh, going off. Also, we have an RT meeting here right after this. So, hey, oh, fuck, why yeah. not? Mm. Whatever. There you go. Do we have to go to the meeting now? Is that... Probably. How long has it been, Lindsay? I would say you could go for like another 10 minutes and then you would kind of mm, have good. another conversation, or, I mean, another like, full-on conversation. Like, wrap it up and maybe ask her like what you do with Ashers, like what you see with the job going forward, what you want, that kind of stuff. Wrap it up after that. Oh, that's a good question that we just got told to ask her off, off, off set. From there. the comments? You read a comment that had a question? No, the show's we live. Get, so. We get tweeted. What? Yeah, the show's live. You read a comment, a tweet? Someone off set just recommended that we ask her about her future. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So my future. Um, yeah, I kind of want to. Definitely want to stay with you guys. What do you mean? Like oh my after God. this? Oh my God! Oh jeez! Fucking cop um, out so hard. <laughs> and then, like, I kind of want to start. Um, She's like, I got two more months here, and I'm out of here, sucker. So enjoy the editing while you got it, because I am. <laughs> Right. We yeah. keep getting her comments. future sure. could mean anything. She said. He, he said, "What do you want with the job? And what, was, what was it? What do you want from the job?" And <laughs> Lindsay's got <laughs> one shoe on, what one shoe off. Job? Tell us about your where future. Where do you see the job? Okay, going? I, I where do you feel this, this, <laughs> this job is going to take me to the big screen. Like I. Am the, <laughs> you mean I'm the full use, screen? I'm that's it. <laughs> that's that's the ceiling for this job. I'm gonna, yeah, it's the screen. Yeah, the no, the big screen. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna. I'm gonna go to Hollywood. She means when we get like our You're videos, Hollywood, Hollywood, when, our, when our videos know, turn right. into commercials at the Alamo Draft House. She that's means she means. she's Don't gonna get a part on Laser Team too. <laughs> she should have been <laughs> in a Disney XD promo at at RTX. Is, is the way you should have been. Then you could have been on fucking Disney, dude. Yeah, yeah that's true. Disney. Comedy oh Central. Remember when we were told that we were gonna? Remember when we were told that our fucking Captain America video would get put in the front of Marvel videos at an Alamo Draft House? Remember yes. that? I fucking forgot about that. Who that told you that? RT. Why would they even? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Why would they even tell you that? I don't know, but it sounded cool, and I really wanted that to happen, and it never did. That yeah. seems that seems unlikely. I, I don't know why you would even believe that, but I don't know why they would say they that. They have connections to the Alamo Draft House. We had an Alamo Draft House in Denver. It was like fucking right there. You know how fucking triggered you'd be if you went to see like fucking Avengers two and some idiot's YouTube video was playing before the movie. It's you'd be like, literally, that literally happen, the Alamo though. Draft House every time though. What do you mean? They like do for that? Wolverine yes. and shit. They have like terrible skits that people yeah. like doing. They do YouTube Alamo videos. Draft House. You just lost my business. They're good. They're I'm staying at the about. arc light. The last thing I want in this world is to watch YouTube videos before I enjoy some big blockbuster entertainment. Mama They're man. funny. What the fuck? They're funny? Yo, when's the yes. last time you went to the arc light, dog? All the time, dude. When's the last time? What movie? <laughs> you tell me Universal City Walk. That was one time Emoji with my movie, friends. Bitch. What about you and your You're girlfriend? You're going to have to go to the arc light because oh you're God. traumatizing families. That doesn't fucking answer my question. Fareed! Fareed! Yeah, and there's murder happening in here. Welcome to Rooster Team 2017. To trying to call in our RT rep what in the next room. Someone's getting choked out. Someone's getting, are we ruining their bits? Probably. Are you gonna get it? Yeah, it's we're really in their bit. It. Don't cross bits. Come here. Don't, <laughs> Don't cross the bits. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to prove? Come in and close the door. I don't, know, I don't know what this is Have right a now. seat. I don't know either. Hello everyone, it's RT rep. Fareed. <laughs> Do you need a mic? Uh, James mic wants to know why the Captain America skit uh, from he our wasn't channel even at the wasn't at the well, didn't make it in front of Alamo Draft House movies. Rooster Teeth. You weren't at the company at the time, but I was told that our Captain America video would get in the front of some Marvel movies at the Alamo Draft House. I know they have these connections, but you weren't there, so I don't expect you to know the answer. But I do. I appreciate your support. I do not know the answer. See, he does not know the. He wasn't even at the fucking company at the time. Isn't there an Alamo opening up here? Oh. Somewhere in LA? Aren't there already? There is an Alamo version of the Alamo in LA and Westwood. 
Oh. This would be good because okay. uh, there's there's a new uh, movie coming out soon, so maybe we could get like. The Alamo. No, I like Thor. <laughs> oh, that film. Uh, we could maybe get our thing screened there. At the Alamo? Yeah. I have no idea. Our Captain America <laughs> one. It's so dated and old now. This doesn't matter anymore. <sighs> Anyone else have any more questions for RT? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think um, it was just you and your your exclusive, exclusive uh, luxury home hotel that you've built for yourself from yeah. the ground up. Yeah, thank you. This is a very lovely home. You're not mic'd. I just... Oh, yeah. This is a very lovely home, Brett, Thank that you've you. constructed. Thank you. I wish I could say it was built on RT sponsorships, but I'm not sure I can. Uh, you get so much uh, worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fareed. <laughs> Fareed, everybody! I'm honored. Thank I'm you. honored. I'm honored. Well, that was fun and weird. We've you never did. done that before. You did that. Uh, yeah. That's my job here at Cow Chop. Because when you got a question for RT, I scream at the top <laughs> of my fucking lungs. <laughs> question someone who wasn't here at the company at the time. <laughs> Do you have any questions for us? Um, shoot. God I didn't damn, come Emma, prepared. Like, I didn't. Oh, jeez. I know. I wish that I had a question for you guys. Um, like, do you like, still have to work nine hours a day or yeah, something like that? Yeah. Talk about job security. Job security? Yeah. yeah. How good. much longer am I going to have this with YouTube? All right, you well, thanks, guys, for... <laughs> Let me give you a visual <laughs> metaphor for YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. This is the ad revenue. Well, if anyone needs an editor... burning down. Thank you guys for tuning into this week's podcast episode of CCTV, uh, live on the RCT website every Monday, and then on YouTube Wednesdays when the revenue's good. If it's not good, we'll just... One episode left. One episode One episode left. left before we take a two-month hiatus. We might have hiatus. a special guest on that one, too. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah. Who you know, the hopefully heck, that actually goes Who the heck knows? We'll the see. Swan will be back next week from his two-week vacation. He needs uh, some personal time. Well, I know. Thank you for coming out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>